Hello everyone. Uh, uh, gonna make a really quick video. Should I move that? Gonna make a really quick video about this Abity C bag. I made an initial video when I first got the bag. I said I'd do a follow-up months later after I'd use the bag. And that's what this is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna show you the current state of the bag after being lugged around quite a bit, uh, going everywhere I go pretty much. And how it's held up, and should you get one, is this a bag for you, how much weight does it hold, how much gear does it hold, blah, blah, blah. I, I really hate to turn this into a what's in my bag. Full disclosure, that's where it's going to end up. It's gonna, I'm, I'm just going to show you how much stuff I pack into this bag. This is actually what I carry in this bag. I have a smaller man photo bag that I will transfer things into that bag to take it to the actual location because there's so much stuff in this bag I don't necessarily need it although if I think I do I'll just throw the entire bag into my little collapsible wagon boom and I'm off and I can pick what I need as I need it that way I don't have to worry about going back to the car and getting anything blah 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 yada 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 what's up with the bag so let's look at the bag the deal with the bag is uh this is the bag in its current state. I'm going to show you. It's still in pristine condition. I haven't had to wash the bag or do anything like that to it. I will show you, however, you can see this handle here. It's about to come apart. And I'm going to have that repaired. That, I would chalk that off to being my fault. Because uh, when you see, there's quite a bit of stuff in this bag. And you can see it's starting to pull away here. I don't know if the camera shows it, but here's it's starting to separate. There again, I would, uh, I would attribute this uh, to an incident where the bag where was laying and I walked by, heat of the moment, blah, blah, blah. I grabbed the bag and I just thought I'd snatch it up. So there again, that's my fault. I don't think uh, had it be, been for my abuse that this would be pulling apart. It's not pulling apart over here, so that's obviously my fault also. So anyway, let's jump into what's in this bag. What do I carry in this bag? How much gear does it hold? It holds quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to show you this. this. is I didn't plan this. I just threw this up. I'm absolutely bored. So I said I'd make a video about that I should have made a long time ago. So bear with me through this. Um, we'll start off. I, I'm just going to name stuff off as I come to it. Uh, I keep a car charger. I had an incident where I was going to a shoot. And in putting the camera into the bag, I had not. I had not hit it to the own position so it killed my battery and I had to have a battery I had a spare but it's good to have a, a backup in case something else goes wrong I had to drive 40 miles round trip just to get this from Best Buy so I keep it in the bag in case I ever need it I had to end it it worked out I charged my battery uh, because I kept my charger with me thank goodness there's the plug-in for the chargers and I keep two chargers, and this is sad. I shouldn't even admit this, but one's an MH25, one's an MH25A. I suspect they're the same thing, but I, I just don't want to plug one battery into the other and find out the hard way. Oh, it's different because it just ruined one of my batteries or something weird. Anyway, in this compartment, I know I keep caps in here. A little weird and wonky about having caps. Something comes up, I need to take all my lens off my cameras and put the caps on the camera, I've got that. Gels for my uh, 8200s, should I need them, and a filter. I never use it, I never use a filter. I don't, I don't know, I bought it on a whim. So we're gonna put that back so things don't get mixed up. God forbid. I've got a few pans here, and over here I keep a terabyte of storage. And there's also the remote. I'm not going to pull that out because I never use it. But the remote's in there. I used to use it and then it was just kind of like, why would I use the remote when I can use the timer on the cameras, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, in here I've got uh, a spare battery, spare uh, one spare card. God forbid I ever need more than that. Down in here I've got, I know it's down in here, I've got a little tripod. I got some Peak Design crap that I never used. I don't even know why I bought that. It's never been used. But I've got a small tripod. If I need to mount my camera on the table or something, uh, this won't hold a DSLR. This is really cheap. But it will hold my camera if I want to do some quick video. 
and there's nothing in here so on the outside we've got a Bluetooth speaker you this this could depending on you know whoever your client is you know spend a little time getting to talk with and find out what they like what type of music they, they like what are they into blah 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 have a little Bluetooth speaker and uh, just play a little music it relaxes them in front of the camera so that's something helpful that may or may not uh, help you out with your photography dead cat for the Rode micro which I am using to make this video right now it's so that's what I keep on the outside uh, and we come to where all the weight of this bag comes in all of the weight comes from everything in this compartment uh, and here we have a gray card contracts and we have a calendar so you know what's going on you can pencil people in keep up with you know your upcoming shoots so that compartment is is that's worth this waiting go and it's it's out of the way it's also compact and the weight the weight all of the weight this is a focus strap you can get this on Amazon for $14 and I, I don't know what the name brand strap is but it's like expensive this works you know, th this has held both my cameras, and it will not drop your camera because I wouldn't even take a chance with that. And I, I tugged it, pulled it, and made sure it was good and secure. And I've inspected it every time before I put my camera on it, and it is good to go. So you know, that's if you're looking for a good camera strap, there, blah, blah, free, free plug-in for a focus on uh, Amazon. Anyway, in here, my lens are going to be the 7200. This is a uh, 9VR. Uh, what is this? This is a 28 to 75 2.8. This is a 51.8. And a light meter. I always use a light meter. I know some people are shunning me right now from the photography. Uh, <laughs> from the, but I use a light meter regardless. Uh, this is my D7200. This is where all the weight's coming in, really. This is my D7200 with the battery grip. Uh, this is the camera I had first. I shot it constantly. I love this thing. It's a great camera. Uh, if you can't afford a new full frame, get a D7200. This thing is absolutely awesome. Free plug-in for Nikon D7200, even though it's it's older at this point. It's better than the D7500. I just want to throw that in. I don't, I've never owned a D7500, but I've looked at one. I was going to purchase one, and uh, I'll just say, yeah, that's compared to the 7200. Anyway, this is my uh, D610 full frame. Uh, I got this later. I love this. It doesn't have as many features in the 7200, it, but it, it's full frame. I mean, what do you, it's it's full frame, okay? We're done, it's full frame. <laughs> Once want you go full frame, it, trust me, just get a full frame. If you can get a full frame, get a full frame. Even if it's an entry level, if you think it doesn't take great photos, you're an idiot. This thing is awesome. Even though it's older, the D7200 and the D610 are both, both older cameras, but they get the job done. Anyway, I'm not going to get off onto that rant. I'm simply showing you what's in this bag. So that's a lot of weight. The, the D7200, D610, and the lens, you know, I don't have a lot of lens, but there's a substantial amount of weight in this bag when you cram all this garbage. I shouldn't say garbage. It's just the way I talk. I apologize. It's very expensive garbage. When you, when you throw all the stuff in this bag, it comes very heavy, very heavy. So the, I carry it by the strap more than I should, and because I don't want to sling it over my back. And it's, it's just worn out right here. So this is no big deal. This bag was about 80 bucks, 70, 80 bucks. And it's not name brand, it's not Manfrotto, it's not whatever you want to, you know, it's not one of those bags. But it works. The only thing I don't like about this bag is that green. It is so bright. I just absolutely hate the fact that every time I open this bag, it's it's glowing. And everybody's like, whoa! And it attracts attention. And I absolutely hate that about it. But as far as the functionality, this Ebony C bag, if you're looking for a, a good bag, it will do the job. So there, I made the video. I'll never make another YouTube video probably, but I did owe you guys uh, the follow-up on this bag, and everything else is uh, in tip-top shape. I've, I've actually used uh, the waist strap 
I went to the, where did I go? I went to the mountains. I was in the mountains and I ended up using the waist strap so it makes the bag extremely comfortable. The feet on this bag are great. Don't forget, you got your little pull out. For those who haven't seen the first video, there's a little pull out. That's great. Thank you. There to put your tripod in, but you know, yeah, it's all around good bag. Good value for the money. So, there, Ebony C bag. Should you get one, in my opinion, yes. If you can deal with the green, which really bothers me more than it probably should. If you can deal with the bright coloring of the bag, they have different different variations but I think with the different colors you get a different variation in the interior of the bags which is why I went with this bag. Anyway, Ebony C bag. Is it good? Yes. For the money, it's great. Get one? Yes. On my recommendation, who am I to recommend the bag? Nobody. Anyway, thanks for watching and cut. Cut the video. Stop the video. Somebody stop the video. Oh, there's only me. I don't have a production team.